Hi, this is Mike Weaver, one of the technical product managers at Quest. Today, I'm going to show you the Outlook user experience if a PST is taken away from a user or profile without being properly reconfigured or cleaned up. We have QuadraTech PST Flight Deck in the Quest portfolio, and that has an end user agent that gets deployed to help control this user experience and prevent it. That agent has a few deployment options, including a light option that runs in memory. But for the full experience, we always recommend deploying the full agent. And this agent scans uh, various locations, the entire C drive. It can look at removable media and network locations, wherever users store PST files. And then we have a network process for network PSTs as well. When we talk about PSTs that are stored in the network, which technically is not supported by Microsoft, this can create a challenge. So a lot of organizations and administrators will see those PSTs there on the network and they will take those PSTs and manually migrate them without cleaning up the Outlook profile. And this can create a really negative user experience. And I'm gonna show you that today. So let's go ahead and review where these folders are so we can see that they are right down here and available. But if I go into account settings, account settings and choose data files, we'll see where these are located. These are both on the local workstation, but these could also, again, be on removable media or network storage. So what I'm going to mimic here is actually removing these files from the profile while, uh, without cleaning up the profile and show you the experience. So I'm going to go ahead and close Outlook. And I'm going to cut these files and move them to the desktop so that the reference is incorrect. So this would be the same experience as if we had just removed the user's PST files without cleaning up the profile, whether it be on the network or even the local workstation. As soon as we open Outlook, we're going to be presented with this error, and it's going to repeat for every single PST. And we've seen users with hundreds of PST files. There's a, a new limit in modern versions where you can only have about 250 of them connected. But still, this can be quite problematic for users with several PST files, and every time they come in, they will get this. This generates a lot of help desk volume because it also highlights to the user that something's wrong. And for users that are really tied their PSTs, they get very nervous because their data could be missing. We've had clients report upwards of an 80% call volume when these errors are not corrected or the Outlook profile is corrected to prevent these errors. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice it wants me to point to this file. If I've removed this file as an administrator, there's nothing for it to point to. And I can't remove it from the profile here. So my only option is open or cancel. And there's nothing to open, so I have to click cancel. It will then repeat this for every PST. So I only had two in this user's profile. This is repeated again. I hit OK. Again, I can only hit cancel or open. I hit cancel. We can see on the left that these are still connected. And when I try to expand them, I get the same error again that they can't be found. As an end user, this would be very upsetting. And even if I've imported them somewhere else, it will likely result in a help desk call. For those doing a PST project, this would really slow down your ability to complete the project. And you'd notice your help desk volume at very high levels and not really sustainable and they can't help with other things. So it's very important that this is controlled. To clean this up, a user would have to know where to do that. And, and earlier we were in here in the data file section and we remove it. As an exchange administrator, we're very used to where these are, but for the average person, they don't go in here very often. Usually only to every time their machine is desktop replaced and probably a technician walked them through it or reconnected them. They're following uh, you know, the guidance that they have. So it's very important that an agent is deployed to control this end user experience and ensure that we have a reduction in help desk volume.